is Dr. Chinmay and today we'll be talking about how to prevent low blood sugar. Before we move into the prevention, it's important to understand what is low blood sugar and how it is caused. Low blood sugar or hypoglycemia is a medical condition in which your blood glucose level drops below the normal target range for a healthy individual that is 70 mg per dl. Hypoglycemia is very commonly seen in diabetic patients especially if the insulin doses are high or the oral medication doses are high. If in case you've had a long period of starvation, you've skipped any meals, excessive physical exercise or workout or due to acute alcohol consumption can definitely lower your blood sugar levels. It is less commonly also seen in non-diabetic patients in periods of long-term starvation, in acute alcohol consumption, tumor of the pancreas or any postprandial hypoglycemia due to excessive insulin levels released after lunch. So what are the symptoms of hypoglycemia and how is it diagnosed? Most individuals experiencing hypoglycemia early on experience paleness of skin, tremors, sweating, chills. You might also experience lightheadedness or dizziness. There might be also headache associated with that. You might feel hungry. You might feel like you have a fast heartbeat. And as hypoglycemia progresses, you start experiencing confusion, unusual behavior, slurring of speech, diminution of vision, at the same time a restless sleep and even sometimes nightmares. Sometimes, with some individuals, they do not even experience symptoms even if they are hypoglycemic and now this is called the condition as hypoglycemic unawareness. In case if you experience any of these symptoms that is of hypoglycemia, it is prudent that you check your blood glucose using a blood glucose meter and contact your doctor immediately. On visiting your physician, your primary care treating doctor, they might do a physical examination, review your medical and pharmacological history and assess you further to treat your hypoglycemia. So how do we treat low blood glucose? Firstly, if it is a diabetic related hypoglycemia, according to the American Diabetes Association, we follow the 15 is to 15 rule. That is, you have 15 to 20 grams of fast acting carbohydrates, that is, sugars, glucose tablets, glucon gels, candies, jellies, and check your sugars in 15 minutes. If it is not reached 70 mg per dl, that is your threshold, repeat the same process after 15 minutes and again recheck. If your sugars have reached 70 mg per dl, you have treated your hypoglycemia. If they have not, you need to visit your doctor immediately. In severe hypoglycemia, you will not be able to treat it just by the 15 by 15 rule. Glucagon can be administered, which is based on prescription. It can be injected or puffed nasally. It is a hormone that increases blood glucose in circulation by releasing stored glucose from the liver. And it can be taken one on considering communication with your treating physician and detailed clinical history after it's been taken. For non-diabetic hypoglycemia especially, it is important to find out the cause of this hypoglycemia, hence a detailed thorough clinical history and examination is required and it is prudent that you visit your treating physician for the same. So how is low blood sugar prevented? There are few steps, few easy steps that you can take to ensure that you do not experience hypoglycemic episode. Number one, definitely daily check your blood glucose levels using a glucometer at regular intervals so you are more aware of how your body is reacting to medication as well as your diet as well as exercise. Do not skip any meals. Do not consume alcohol without any meal. Definitely discuss with your doctor what all medications can exacerbate or cause hypoglycemia so you are better aware and also have your meals at regular intervals so you do not exacerbate or predispose yourself to such a situation. For non-diabetic patients who are experiencing frequent episodes of hypoglycemia, it is extremely essential firstly to understand the cause of this hypoglycemia. Definitely go to your primary healthcare physician, get a detailed clinical history taken and examination done, figure out the cause. Apart from that, what you can do from your end is having small frequent meals throughout the day, hence to prevent periods of hypoglycemia.